Hey guys, Camford15, back at it with another video for you guys, and back with another Black Clover manga chapter review for you guys, as we're continuing on with this fight, and we literally get what the title says, Asta versus Sister Lily. Wow, 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 who would have freaking thought we would have been getting this fight? Well, when she was turned into a paladin, it makes sense, but yeah, but hey, um, Asta's fights uh, Sister Lily in this chapter, and it's actually pretty emotional where the chapter goes, man. Um, hits close to home, but uh, let's get into this chapter. This is chapter 349, again, titled Oscar vs. Sister Lily. Now, one of the paladins remembers the time um, about Asta, and he goes and say, I never would have thought you would have gotten in my way again, but it seems like I gotta take you out again, don't I? Now, Mushio, Mushio Gotake, uh, he goes on to say, well, it isn't really my thing, but it's going to be me that's going to be the one that take that will take you on. After all, I got too much uh, tact to butt in on the guy's rendez uh, rendezvous with his girl, which is uh, hilarious, uh, because Sister Lily technically rejected him. Unless... Deep down, they're gonna find some way to hook Asta up with Sister Lily? I don't know. I would actually be pretty depressed because I'm like, no, I ship Asta with Noelle. Shit, I'd freaking have it where he would freaking be with Noelle and Mimosa. I'm just saying. But I guess I want to be mad if maybe the story ends where he actually does end up with the love of his life, which is Sister Lily. I don't know, but personally, I'd rather see him with Noelle, but. That's just me. But I, don't, I don't know. I don't know what that means. Anyways, Sister Lily, she's pretty shocked that Asta is still alive. And Asta goes on to say, yes, I'm st I still am. The people saved me. And actually, you didn't send me to the land of the sun on purpose, sister. Uh, now, Sister Lily is like, no, that can't be true. I, I totally, 100% meant to kill you. Now, Asta goes on and replies to her by saying, even if you are being controlled, there's no way you could ever kill us. And Sister Lily goes and say, I am not being controlled. So she fires off an attack at Asta. Asta dodges it. And all of a sudden, you know, the more panels we see, we see her get a close up face of, of Sister Lily. And she looks a little bit emotional. And she looks like she's about to cry. And she goes and say, if you're alive, well, it's a problem for us, Asta. She ends up using Coincidentally enough, Water Magic Holy Fist of Love, which, again, has been the move she always uh, has done on Asta as a way of rejection, raise as a way of rejection, because she would get too flustered, and plus she would always decline Asta's proposals to marry her. Um, you know, that's kind of thing. The I found that actually quite interesting. I'm like, oh, she's using Holy Fist of Love. Really? Okay. Asta picks up on that. He cuts through the Holy Fist of Love, and Sister Lily is monologuing within herself, saying, unless Asta's immobilized, um, four spatial transfers won't work, and Sacred Devil Control um, is pointless against anti-magic. Now she goes on to say, now she's asking Austin, she's like, why? Why didn't you just die back there? Um, and, you know, she goes on to think that she has to attack with a much stronger spell than what she's doing. So then she ends up using Water X Facial Magic, so a combination of the two, and it's called, and it's this move called Sa Satchel's Flash. It looks like a typical Beam Ray ability, uh, or a Beam Ray attack, uh, so that's kind of where that is um, and everything. So Austin manages to block it, or yeah, he manages to block it. Now in this fight, Sister Lily's continuing to look at Asta and she's remembering of Asta when he was a kid, a little child. And then that's when she screams out, screams out to Asta in a way like a pleading type of way saying, this is for the world's sake, please die Asta. And I'm just like, what the hell bro? Now, I read the unofficial translations, and I'm just like, okay, what the hell is going on here? What the actual hell is going on here? Asa um, replies back by saying, I'm not going to let you kill me, sister. 
um, you know, she continues to think of Asta again, you know, and you can just see there's regret right then. And you get this crazy amazing panel where there's tears in her eyes, bro. Like, when I saw this, I'm like, and, and I'm about to go off. And she goes on to say, I, it's not as if I want to. Now, hold on, hold on. I thought this when I first read the chapter and I was like, huh, it seems like the paladins have some weird sense of free will. Or if you have, if a character has a strong bond with a character that Lucius turned into a paladin, maybe through the bond of that relationship you have with that person, you can break through this sort of paladinian spell, this spell that Lucius puts over somebody. Asa has a very good relationship, a very good connection with Sister Lily. And the fact that Sister Lily getting emotional, and the fact that she's just pleading with Asa, please just go away, please just die, it's for the world's sake. Um, because, because the only thing that did doesn't make sense is the fact that okay no sister lily would not want asta to die but at the same time sh you can see the regret the anguish on her face like she doesn't want to do what she knows what she wants to do now i don't know if this means this whole paladinian spell can be broken while a character is a paladin but it seems from here that Sister Lily has some sort of free will to do what she pleases, to go against Lucius's orders. You know? I don't know what that means. Maybe she does have some sort of free will in there, and then maybe it takes a connection, a bond to break it. Um, and if that's the case, well then there's a huge kind of flaw in Lucius's plans of turning people into paladins. Because all you have to do is have a good connection with somebody and just be that person that says no you need to make the change i don't know what this is supposed to mean but from what i got out of this chapter it shows me that sister lily has some sort of weird free reign to do what she pleases because we see the regret she 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 clearly from this chapter alone i don't care she clearly does not want to kill Asta. it's like as if it's regular sister lily with just a power boost which maybe that could be what lucius you know gave her gave her this power boost but she still has free control what to do and maybe it's kind of a way of lucius saying well if you don't do what you need to do then i will kill you now i don't know but we thought like oh when he started turning people into um paladins um they were just under his control seems like sister lily right now is the case in the exception it seems like if you have a strong bond with this person this a individual a character like Asta has with sister lily you can maybe thus get the start on breaking the spell lucius puts over that person who he turns into a paladin now um she goes on to say lucius is right or, or also goes on to say lucius is right she's only being conditioned to prioritize that which i guess kind of answers my question sister lily is still sister lily there you go pretty much um but now sister Lily goes on to say, but for the sake of this, of what everyone wants, what you want, a world filled with happiness. Um, which I believe that's what Asta says that. Yeah, that's what uh, Asta says that. Um, we get a full page spread. She's just violently attacking Asta, trying to kill him and everything. And she's just screaming, I'm begging you, just die Asta, just die. As the tears are flowing down her face and everything. Um, now, Asta goes on to say, there's just, there's no way, and there's no right way, there's no just in, the, in doing this. So, he starts charging in, you know, he uses his sword to, you know, pretty much is, is like blocking the beam attack that, um, Sister Lily's doing, and she goes on, and Asta's going on to say, like, I'm never gonna forgive you for this, Lucius, um, and the chapter ends with Asta slashing Sister Lily, and he's hoping that Sister Lily 
goes back to being her old self. Now, we did see how he did defeat one of the paladins, and in a way, it revert. Seemed, you know, they made them, you know, one of the. I think it was Ichika made them mention that um, after he slashed the one beast um, paladin, his magic didn't feel similar to that of the paladins, what it felt like before. Now the question is, will the same apply with uh, Sister Lily? Now, my only thing is this, if this happens to be the case, we're also say Sister Lily, she goes back to being her normal self. Well then, what in the blue hell is this threat of Lucius turning people into paladins when Asa can easily slash them and they just go back to normal? There's gotta be some sort of weird plot twist, some sort of weird thing that happens where maybe Austin, Austin, Sister Lily doesn't go back to herself, or what if, you know, the thing is, maybe Lucius puts some sort of fail safe within Sister Lily, well, you can't turn it back to normal. Guess what? You do that, you're gonna kill her. Um, now that would be a pretty damn dark to just see like, oh shit, Austin killed the woman he loves. Um, talk about not forgiving Lucius ever again. He might not even forgive Julius. Dang. Um, now, there's gotta be some sort of plot twist. I, I, I would feel too convenient if, okay, Asa gets this new power from Zedin, he can use Zedin, cut a paladin, you know, or slash a paladin, and they go back to normal. Like, where's the threat in all that? Well, then you just got to deal with Lucius. It doesn't matter how many people he throws. Now, maybe the thing is, maybe the whole Paladin thing is for an emotional type purpose. But then Asha would be like, well, I can just use Zetan and turn you back to normal. There's got to be something that's up. There's definitely got to be a plot twist. There's definitely got to be a plot twist. I don't know if Sister Lily will go back to normal. I have a feeling either one or two things. She won't go back to normal. Or maybe Lucius put a fail safe in where, no, you won't be able to turn her back to normal. You just killed her. My only predictions on that guess. Um, so, yeah. Um, but we'll see where the story goes. Um, the reason why I say that is because they focus a part on her, around her, like, chestish area. And you see the black part. That could be blood. That could be blood. So, for all we know, maybe Asa just potentially killed Sister Lily. Don't know. But um, I guess we'll find out um, in the next chapter. Um, there is no break next week. So, um, yeah. Look, exciting chapter of uh, Black Clover. Can't definitely wait to see more and things like that. But, uh, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to get out of here, guys. If you guys like the video, leave a like. Put it in the comment section here. Thoughts on this week's manga chapter of Black Clover. As well as hit the subscribe button if you want to get more Black Clover content or any other anime or manga content I upload to the channel. So then, guys, stay safe out there and have a great rest of your day or now in the video. Peace.